So let's head straight on over to Storm Team 2's meteorologist, Ariel Hooley, to see how you should prepare for the week. Hey, Ariel. Hey, Dan. You know that saying, if you don't like the weather, just wait a minute? Well, that's going to be key over the next couple days. The story today was the temperatures. It was quite chilly out there. And right now we're sitting at 48 in King Street, 54 in Charleston, 59 on Johns Island. It didn't turn out to be too bad if you got out into that sunshine. Now, temperatures tonight won't be as chilly as last night, and that's because we'll see some cloud cover move on in. So hour by hour, you can see we hang on to those 50s for quite a while into the early overnight hours, eventually falling back into the 40s. And then tomorrow we start off with some cloudy, cloudy skies and a tiny bit of sunshine. That sunshine, though, not lasting long. Our next weather maker slowly getting its act together, and it's going to start to push into the low country as we head into the day tomorrow. So look at your future cast model. Shows that you're heading out early Monday morning. We're going to be dry, but again, under those mostly cloudy skies. That rain really coming together into areas of the south, into Mississippi and Alabama. It's going to push its way into the low country as we head into Monday afternoon. So by lunchtime, you're going to need that rain gear. Rain showers stay with us not only into Monday evening, but into Tuesday morning commute as well, as well as into Tuesday afternoon. So a soggy couple days setting up. The other story going to be the temperatures. Ahead of that cold front, we'll see temperatures warm hitting mid 70s by Tuesday, but then a 20 degree temperature fall for Wednesday. Dan, we're only talking high temperatures into the low to mid 50s, and we're going to be talking some pretty chilly nights as well. Have a look at that 10 day forecast coming up. On Sullivan